my god! I can't believe what's happening right now. Good morning. <laughs> uh, I'm on the way to the coast, the coastline. By the beach. And no, I'm not going surfing, even though I definitely can surf because I'm a great surfer. Hang 10, I'm actually really close mates with Michael Fanning. Mick Fanning. Did I say Michael Fanning? Oh, no, the reason I'm going to the coast is because my mate Cam just arrived back home. And Cam, he has a, an actual, he's brought a child <laughs> into, this, into this world. Yeah, to think that someone that I basically grew up with and is one of my closest friends now has a, a child, like an actual human that has come from his loins, is ridiculous. It's crazy. And it's been making me think recently, am I ready for a kid? And every time I think about that, the answer is no. <laughs> I'd be a great daddy. Ew. But yeah, so it's um, I'm going to visit Cam and Joe will be there as well. It's gonna be the boys are back in town. Literally. Can't believe he has a kid. It's crazy. Dude, like uh, if you're watching this and you're like in your early 20s, when you get to 25, 26, everyone starts getting married. It's like the people that you grew up with that you still look at as children are having children. Everyone just needs to chill, right? Get to your 30s and then make some decisions. In saying that, though, having a little, having a little Jack just terrorizing the nation, that'd be pretty fun. New Year's resolutions. Dude, people's New Year's resolutions are so boring. And I, like, I was trying to come up with New Year's resolutions last night. Shaking like a motherfucker. Everyone has the same New Year's resolutions every year. It's like, go to the gym, uh, do more exercise, eat less junk, work harder, make money. Literally those same five rotation, like, every year, people would be like, oh, what you, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, I want to stop eating junk. That's original. People need to start getting more creative with their resolutions. All right, here's one. I've been going to heaps of live music recently. I want to keep doing that. My New Year's resolution next year, 2024, I want to go to more live events. That's what I want for my 2024. I want to have fun. I want, I want to just live my best life. <laughs> I'm the first one who's ever said that. What's another one? I want to start rollerblading. I want to ride a horse. <laughs> Uh, so my girlfriend Charles grew up riding horses and I'm a little bit jealous of that because I, I think I've, I've ridden a horse once and I've actually been attacked by a horse. When I was younger I was at my cousin's farm and we were feeding the horses and I was wearing a green t-shirt. I think I was around like 11, may, maybe younger than that, I think I was like 10 years old and I was wearing a green t-shirt, we are feeding it hay as you do with horses. I've turned around to pick up some hay and I've just heard this, I've just heard and felt like the crunch of an apple. It literally sounded like <coughs> And this horse has taken a, a massive chunk out of my back. And I was screaming and squealing. The parents came over. They had to put the horse down, unfortunately, because of that. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. They, they didn't put the horse down. From that day, I, I've actually been pretty terrified of horses. Ideally, I'd like to do one on the beach and maybe get some cool slow-mo shots of me with like a cowboy hat. All right, this is my unboring New Year's resolution list. I wanna to go to more live music. I wanna rollerblade. I wanna ride a horse. And the final one, and the final one, I want to write a rap song. Why not? All right, at this point, I'm curious. In the comments, let me know what is your 2024 not boring New Year's resolution list. If I hear one comment of lose weight or get more money, that's it. I'm blocking you from everything. Let's be fun. Let's make this year count. Question for you, are you at the back? Yep. All right. Yo, Joe. Yo, how are you? Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, it's good to be back in the shed. Are you yeah, kidding me? Back in barn. Yeah, it's about bloody time you made it. I know. Joe. 
They ready to see some babies. Oh, we're gonna, gonna kick some babies. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe what's happening right now. I just happened to have a megaphone and cameras and the recent father. <laughs> Daddy's home. The boys are back in town. Oh. <laughs> and one of them's dad. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, so Cam and Brooks' child so has good. just arrived. Oh, oh you got a big green God. shit on your teeth, though. Wait, right, is it gone? Yeah. Nice. Oh. <laughs> you singing some death metal? Oh. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't record anything for the next couple hours, but do you know how crazy it is to hold your mate's kid anyway uh, I don't know why I'd make that face when I look at myself welcome back guys welcome back to the Jack show <laughs> it is like the 20th of December right now so technically we should have done this 20 days ago but we are getting a Christmas tree I'll tell you what this this Christmas season has not felt like Christmas at all so we're gonna we're gonna fix that we're gonna fix this lack of Christmas Christmas issue and we are getting a Christmas tree five days before Christmas baby uh, to be honest I don't even know if I don't even know if we're gonna be able to find a Christmas tree five days before Christmas either they've all gone bad or they've all been sold out Christmas I hope I hope uh, how's your Christmas doing you having a good one no way that's insane hey how are you just wondering I know it's five days until Christmas do you guys have any Christmas trees? I only got four, five left. My baby don't mess around. Right, I'm just, I am a little bit scared of this spot. Have you seen spiders in Christmas trees? Yeah. You're going straight back to the rad pad, sir. Or man, what do you identify as? Tree. Okay, tree. You're going to the rad pad. It's gonna be a rad Christmas. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So, I guess with five days to go until Christmas, Christmas begins. Let's do this thing. Merry Christmas. Happy Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What's that pants that you used to do? The one that you used to do. Oh, did it. No, ready? I don't know if that's it. Why are you putting your shoulders in there so much? Can we just take a moment to appreciate how good our bin looks? With the Christmas tree inside, our Christmas tree bin. Damn! Damn! Look, I know that it's only five days until Christmas, but... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas! <laughs> I'm nervous about the tree, just because I don't think it'll be able to hold my weight. Well, because we've got to put the star on top. You could go back to Why am I on the star? Because <laughs> I'm the star. And that, ladies and gentlemen, even though it's been four years of our relationship, is called flirting. Okay? It's important to keep that alive. All right? I know we got this Christmas spirit going on, but it's important to keep the spirit of your relationships alive as well. And I'm going to guide you through it. <laughs> you are a beautiful shining star. You should go on top of the tree. It's super cute. I like it. I yeah. actually really love it. I'm actually surprised we found a Christmas tree at all. The Christmas tree is set up in the red pad. You! Did you buy movie sex? Of course you didn't buy movie sex. Let me you. All right. Christmas movie snacks consist of Tim Tams, mint slice, and popcorn. I don't know about you, but I think they'll be happy. No, we will. <laughs> hey dog, they don't know you're in the frame, all right? So you can't just speak out like that because it looks like I'm just doing a solo mission and now that's just completely done. It's completely exposed. Look, I'll turn the camera around. There's Nate dog. Oh, shit. You know, really saw his whole identity then. He's actually in 
Protectness? Yeah, I'm in that. <laughs> Witness protection program. So.